Okay, so in the last video, I showed everyone how to get into the new secret room, and I said that they got rid of the old one on the airport map. Well, it turns out that the old secret room is still there, and you can still get into it. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to get into the old secret room, and also go over the new items they added with the update. With that out of the way, let's jump straight into the video. Alright, in order to open the old secret room, what you have to do is come up to this data room, and you'll see this yellow button all the way up here. All you have to do is click on it. It's a little hard to get, but once you click on it, it should be open, and let's go see if it is. Let's see if the old secret room is now open. And it is! Oh, the old secret room. One of my favorite spots, for sure, on the airport map. I'm so glad they kept it in the game. Let's see if we can lure the beast over there and do a couple tricks. Let's also open the new secret room as well. Let's click on all the walkie-talkies. Alright, the beast has spotted me. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on. Let's go to the secret room. The old secret room. Ah, uh, yes. Is that a candy cane on her head? Oh, come on, come on. She's in. And we are out. Let's go. I don't think she's seen it before. Oh, she fell. Oh, shoot. Oh. I completely fumbled. Let's go to the new secret room. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to get the door off. Wait, I am, I am, I am. We're in the new secret room now. Oh, <laughs> we got her. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Where's she going? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh, I think we should go to the ramp. I love that spot. Eh. Oh, shoot. She's kind of gaining on me, though. I'm not going to lie. Crawled under. <laughs> Where's she going? She started swinging. She knew I crawled under her. Wait, she gave up. <laughs> oh! Oh, we juked her. We juked her. Oh, she sprinted. Double jump. We gone, we gone! Wait, I gotta get her to the new bathroom. Okay, she sees me. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to the new bathroom, the new bathroom? Ooh, we're gonna crawl. Crawled under. Uh oh. Second stall. Ah! Oh, she's swinging a lot. Oh! We went past her! <laughs> Bro, the bathroom is so much fun! Oh, she's right there. She's right there. Does she know where I went? Does she know? Hello? Uh oh. Wait. Is she gonna rage quit? Hello? Hello? She left, bro. I made her rage quit. No way. She rage quit on the airport map. Let's take a look at some of the new items they added to the shop. Starting off, we have so many new items added, and it's actually insane how many there are. You have different coin ones you can get. Like, look at these three trains. You have the 2024 hammer and gem, which look pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. And you have different Robux hammer sets as well. You have four. That's so many. Then there's also the crate box with the gingerbread house. But as you can see, I am extremely poor and have no money. So I'm just going to buy the 2024 hammer. Because why not? And then I only have enough Robux to get this hammer and gem. And this is the one I want because this gem actually lights up and does different colors. Which is a really unique thing that they've added to the game. And I don't think they've ever done this with a different gem. So I'm actually going to buy this one and use it in game. So looking at some of the other items like the Love Stick bundle I think is really good. And I think it's going to be a very valuable set. I think you should definitely get this one if you have the Robux to buy it. I really, really like these Choo Choo Train sets. I like how there's three of them. And I think my favorite one's the blue one. I just really like the colors that it has. Like the white with the blue. It looks really good. And then the green one looks cool as well. And then the red one, it's kind of like a candy train almost. Like with the candy cane wheels. This Merry Music Box bundle set looks really different. Like... It's a weird gem with it's like a book that's open with some music notes, which is pretty cool. But then with the hammer, it's almost like a pot with um some music coming out. And there's like a house and a tree. But then it looks like there's a chain. Like I'm curious what the actual like handle looks like because I see a chain coming down from this. But I do not have the Robux to buy that, unfortunately. 
And then we have the winter weather bundle. It's a cool little sled with some ice cubes on top. Oh, and it looks like there's some wind behind it. So it's like giving the effect that it's going. There's also some cool icicles below. And then the gem to ornament, but it almost looks like the blueberry gem. Then there's a Santa surprise bundle. It's like Santa sleigh now. And there's presents and then the wind effect as well. And then it's a red ornament. Okay, but then we're getting into eggnog maker bundle like what is this this hammer is horrible like look at this this is trash i'm not gonna lie i do not like this the green looks stupid the gem's kind of cool because it's a mug and there's some marshmallows in it but what is this hammer it looks horrible and then you got the cocoa maker bundle which is a little better the gem's the only good thing about this this hammer is terrible i'm not spending 650 robux on this this is terrible do not buy that that's a waste if you're gonna buy something buy this because the gem is really cool and it changes color or this because it looks like it's got a sick design with the arrow and the hearts and a little potion too i'm gonna be for real this is probably a waste it's a blocky hammer it's not that good it's got a little bow on it which is nice but other than that like it's not good sack of presents bundle i just wouldn't spend your coins on this the gem's all right but it kind of looks like a potion like some of the other ones. And it'd be cool if there were presents coming out of it a little. But there's not. Or if you could like see some of the presents inside. But no, it's just a little sack. Or as it says, pouch. But then the stack of presents hammer, it's just presents. It's not that good. Probably not worth the coins. And then this is the one I bought. I think the hammer is not that good. It's just three presents. Kind of basic. The Christmas lights are nice. But the gem is the real draw for this. If you want a light up gem, I would buy this. It's pretty nice. 2024, I like the design of this. Like, I don't think it's bad. I think it's better than 2021 and 2020 and 2022. But I like 2023 better than this one. Looking at some of the crates, we have... Wait, another eggnog hammer? I'm so confused. Wait, but this is eggnog maker bundle. And then this is just eggnog. Okay, I probably wouldn't buy that. Snowy forest looks really cool because it's got trees in the background. It's almost like a painting on a hammer. The pixel Christmas... It's got like a little pixel thing in the back. It's hard to tell, kind of. It's not a bad hammer for 100 coins. Frosted. Uh, okay, I'm be for real. It's really basic. The only difference is like ice cubes. But if I had to look at some of the other hammers, let's see some of the light blue ones that are similar. Blue, star wrap, snowing. We have, oh, well, that's water. But then like, just like other hammers kind of look similar to that one. Santa's letter. Uh, not that good. Ginger cookies. I like this. I like the colors. It looks really nice. Cookies and milk. Um, Why do they keep making so many chocolate sort of hammers? Like if I look at some of the hammers I have, chocolate bar, hot cocoa. It's, it's just like hot cocoa, but like not as good. It's just like a different hot cocoa hammer. The teddy bear present and polar bear present. Now these look really good. I'm not going to lie. I love how there's like a little candy cane and I like the different colors that they have. I like how there's two of them. And then the legendary gingerbread house, really good hammer, really solid, cool design. And it's like you actually made this gingerbread house and decorated it. And then there's a little stem for the hammer part. Looking at some of the gems, eggnog. See, snowy forest looks really nice. It's like a painting in the background. You have snow falling in trees. It's like light up top where the sky is. And then it's snow at the bottom. Solid, solid gem. I like it. Pixel Christmas. It's a little pixel Christmas tree. You know, it's unique. It's different. Not bad. Frosted, what is this? This is just a blue, this is like a cyan gem, but then put some ice cubes on it. And these aren't even good ice cubes. They look like glaciers in the water. Like, what is this? Let me look at some of the other gems that I say it's similar to. Cyan. It looks like cyan, but with some ice cubes. Real unique. Cyan, but with ice cubes. Nice. All right, then we got Santa's letter. Pretty basic. I'm not really a fan. Ginger cookies, nice. You got a snowflake, candy cane, Christmas tree, present. Oh, and a bell. Different things on it, you know, it's good. Cookies and milk, like, it's just like hot cocoa almost. Festive present and winter present, I also don't think these are that good. I think the hammers go really well with these, but I don't really like these gems. I think they could have done more. And there's no teddy bear on them. Like, you got a snowman, but there's no teddy bear like with the hammer. But then the gingerbread man, this has to be one of the best gems I've seen in a long time. This design is just amazing. It looks just like a gingerbread man, and it's so happy. I love how it's so happy. I would definitely buy this gem if I were you. 
All right, so that's kind of my thoughts on like the new items they added. So I'm going to give some of my thoughts of what I think of the update. I actually really like the update. I know some people are saying like they ruined the airport map, but to me, I'm just glad that Mr. Windy and other developers are updating the game and making changes. Even if they're not all received really well, I still like that they're doing different stuff. And not everybody's going to like every part of it. Like there's some things I don't like. There's some things I do, but I'm just happy they're changing the game and making new things like the new secret room. That's so cool. I'm so glad they did that. And then you can still go in the old one too. I honestly hope that they change more maps and do more things like this. Because for me, airport is so much more fun because there's so much more to do now. And there's so many new things that you can try out. So I really like the update. Is it a little late? Yeah, but I'm just glad that they're changing the maps. It makes it a lot more fun and different each time you play. Hope they change more maps. And I hope they add beast perks maybe. You know, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. But... Who knows? Thanks so much for watching this video, and thanks to Mr. Windy and all of the developers who have worked on Flee the Facility to get this update out. This update has been a lot of fun so far, and I'm so glad that they changed the game, changed the airport map, and added so many new items to the shop. Make sure to check out my video on the new secret room on the airport map. And again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope to see you in the next one.